EPA has no business dictating land use and, and, and deciding these intensely local matters. If the court refuses to take up the case, it means that this, this blueprint is going to stay in place and um, farmers within the watershed, along with everybody else within the watershed, 64,000 square miles, are going to have to live with it and try to achieve these goals, regardless of cost or social or economic impact, and EPA has never looked at what those costs are going to be. One thing EPA did look at is how much land it thought was going to have to come out of production, and it thought at the time, in 2009, that about 600,000 acres of farmland would have to come out of productive use. If EPA wins here and the, and the court doesn't take this case, EPA is going to take this approach, this framework, and carry it out to other watersheds across the country. Everybody lives in a watershed, so everybody's potentially at risk. All, all economies, all states and localities are potentially at risk for onerous, highly prescriptive, top-down plans for achieving water quality goals instead of state-driven, smart, efficient, flexible plans for achieving those same goals. This locks into place detailed allocations of allowable pollution among farmers, forestry, cities, urban runoff and municipal sewer systems, septic systems, allocating limits among all these sources based on that snapshot in time. 